Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon to another episode of my Let's Play. Currently, the secondary development team is making an update for Luchara Hockey 91. Main development team is working on Superbikes 8. Looks like the graphics and sound team are on that task as well. Uh, QA, on the other hand, is doing some game reports, so I'll have to watch for those to finish and switch them over to working on Superbikes 8. Research team is making a first-person shooter. Console development is working on durability, I believe, for the Lucera Box Pro. Yeah, that's definitely what's happening there. Um, support is starting to fall behind. I'm gonna have to gonna have to do some rearranging here. So let's change the shape of this training room. Um, get rid of this section here. Like that. All right, so how many seats can we fit in here? Oh, this is way bigger than it needs to be. We can fit 16 in here. Let's sell a few of these. So it gets down to 16, so I know how many can actually fit in here without being crowded, right? Which is valuable information to have. And then, okay, are they going to move into the room? Can I take it off pause? Yes. Okay. And then... We can make this room bigger. Quite a bit bigger. <laughs> All right, so how many can we fit in here? 24, okay. So I will want to get some extra people in here. Um, once my marketing team is done working on this TV spot for Superbikes 8, we will switch them over to searching for some people to fix to, fix to work on customer support. All right, so they are done. Of the game reports we can switch them over into making that as good as it can all right banking crisis extra interest that is fine we're in the summer slump right now uh super bikes eight got some free hype we'll take it research team is currently unoccupied console development is currently unoccupied so we can get them to just wait for contracts and process them as they come in secondary development team is freed up uh, let's do another update for earthworm john ghost farming <laughs> it's uh Pretty good game title. It's not selling all that well, though. It was my first interactive movie. It's really not all that good. So it's, it's unsurprising that it's only mediocre. All right, so let's go office worker. We'll go specialist who doesn't take breaks. Automatic repeat. Let's just see what's out there. Oh, never mind. There's zero office workers. <laughs> what about the game testers? Oh, we got one who's lucky. We can hire them. And they're pretty high skill already. So that's good. We'll take them aboard. Yeah, hopefully... I'm trying to remember. I think the internet capability for consoles comes out pretty soon. And once it does, we'll be making a new handheld. A new tech level 3 handheld. Alright, so we found one. Eddie. Perfect. Drop them in. That is ideal. Lord of the Rings 7 went gold. We got another worker support person whatever you want to call them hopefully they can work this queue down a bit it's a little under 10 right now these extra people should help with that in theory at least all right these people are coming in a lot faster than i thought they would because they only have like a i think it was like a 16 percent success chance of this all right so what type of game am i going to make next the trend is the trend for only 15 more weeks um, oh, we're probably going to do a real-time strategy or first-person shooter. Well, there's no probably about it. <laughs> Definitely going to do one, if not both of those. So that is not update old engine. That is develop new engine. And do we want to include best tech level 2? Yeah, let's include the best tech level 2. It's unlikely I'm going to use it, but the AI might want to use it, right? So we'll include it. Um, we'll go real-time strategy first. We'll share box pro. Just call this RTS engine, just so it's easy for me to recognize which engine is which. We will sell this for, we'll say, 20K sales price with a 4% profit sharing. Sure. That works for me. Yeah, so this game is coming along well. It's at 91 hype. Okay, so inexhaustible and all-rounder, but all-rounder is only really valuable in the development room. But they're greedy. Greedy's kind of whatever, but unlucky I don't like, so I'm actually going to pass on old Emil. And we will, on the other hand, hire Fatma. 
Slowly the cube is going down, so I feel like I can switch off of this now. And we can switch to Superbikes 8 pre-release for the press. We'll probably try overhype, depending on how good this is. I'm expecting it to be pretty good though. Wait till the bugs are gone, and then we'll do a quick look at the development report. 80 to 100 percent So that is definitely worthy of some overhype. Right? So let's create overhype. And then let's make an engine for first-person shooter. So same as the RTS engine, we will include the best tech level two stuff. It's not necessary to do that, but that's, you know, crossing my I's, dotting my T's. Wait, I said that backwards. <laughs> crossing my T's, dotting my I's. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Hopefully. All right, there we go. All right, so let's just polish this up a little bit. We'll give it till the end of the week. Wait, did overhype not go through? We'll do a beta demo. Wait, did overhype go through? Oh, it did. So the, the demo was a waste then. Still no research to do. That was, yeah, this customer's port key was going in the right direction. Ooh, we got some maxed out folks. All right, so we got one maxed out graphic designer let's put them in the graphics room obviously and replace them with uh, in the training room with the lowest which is 54 that's pretty good that's pretty good for the lowest and it looks like we got a couple of maxed out people in the sound training room we got two transfer them over to the sound room and transfer over the two lowest sound people that i have which is 54 again so that's pretty good and then we got, oh, we got a maxed out hardware and tech person. Ooh, they're all pretty close to full, actually. And so take out the lowest, as one does. Ooh, 61 is the lowest. That's pretty good. Actually, how many people can I fit in here? Can I fit 19? 13. Um, so let's take a few more of these people and train them, right? I can fit them. I might as well. It, it, I mean, it makes sense to me. <laughs> um, is there anybody maxed out in the programming training room? Yes. So let's put you up in here. Switch you out with low people. And let's look at the... So there's two game designers in here. So they have 90 game design, but less programming. Because okay. we're training for programming in here, not game design. So I can release Superbikes 8 now. I think it'll be a good game. I have faith. Um, racing, so we'll do Activision. Paris, first wheel support game. So that'll knock it down a little bit, but it'll still be pretty good, I think. Oh, yeah, 98%. Psh, not really knocked down at all with that score so we are going to do should i do a spin-off I'm, I'm gonna do an rts a real-time strategy game um just gotta figure out do i want to do a new game or do i want to do a spin-off we got some fairly valuable ips built up or the rims yeah, let's do that. So we'll do RTS. Um, War of the Rims strategy. <laughs> oh, or maybe I should save that for a strategy game. Um, War of the Rims Conquest, we'll call it. And we're going to make it probably double A. Adults. I'm not going to add a subgenre. I want to do at least one just pure real time strategy game first. Right, so we can get some idea where those sliders are supposed to go. We'll do multi-platform. Um, we want uh, active users, personal computer. Um, Mega deck, because we're doing, this is a tech level three game. Fairbox Pro and the Macintosh. Super Nintendo. Yeah, let's do the Super Min, Min, Nintendo. Nintendo, I'm just gonna call it Super Nintendo. <laughs> Way easier. 
Um, all right, so these are the, not the right settings. Those are the settings for RPG because it's a spin-off of an RPG. Um, I don't really know where they're supposed to go. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> um, so it's probably less story. I'm going to assume probably high level design, right? You got to think. Um, probably a lot of depth, probably not a lot of length. The core gamers. Probably hard. I don't know. We'll try that. Maybe beginner friendliness down, innovation up. I think that's not terrible. I hope. Turn on everything that applies. 32 of 40. I could cut two features and go with single A, but I'll leave it as a double A game. I think that'll be good. All right, so that's only 25 hype. So let's, uh, we got some work to do to hype this one up. Where are you at? Lord of the Rings Conquest. So two TV spots would get us to 85. Yeah, so let's do that. Uh, still no research. There'd only be one game report here. Yes, yeah, so we'll leave that. We'll wait till we get two or three. Actually, you know what? Let's just do them as they come in. That way they don't build up. Maybe that's a better strategy. I just got to remember that once it's done, <laughs> I need them to make the game good. So I got to be, I got to be on the ball there. We're watching them. All right, there we go. Totally on the ball. I am so on the ball that I almost fell off the ball. Because it's hard to stand on a ball, right? They tend to roll away. All right. So what can we do while we wait? We can do an update for Superbikes 8. Which should be selling fairly well. Oh my god, yep. <laughs> That is selling insanely well. Insanely well. Holy crap. 150,000. <laughs> Plus in a week. In one week. That's good. That's that's very, very good. Um, all right, so what do we want to do here? So market research tells me the next trend is going to be adventure. If I do it again, is it just going to tell me the same thing? I think so. Bow Hunter 6 is off the market. So if I wanted to make another simulation game, now would be the time. Fairly profitable. It was not an exclusive, so we did not get any exclusive. Civ City also off the market. Did not sell nearly as well, but this was my first building game. So I had fairly low expectations for that one. Right? Yeah, so adventure. Strategy is the negative. But do I want to make an adventure game? I mean, I could. Could make an adventure game. Oh, we got a new sound chip. I did not mean to pick up that carpet. Let's get this sound chip. Tech level 4 sound chip. So the tech level 4 stuff starting to come through. So I will be getting new consoles relatively soon. But, I mean, I'm, this the handheld is like a full generation behind almost. Which is fine. That's normal. That's how it usually goes. Um, so let's cancel. They're waiting for contracts to come in. That's not really what I want to do. So we'll do an update for wheelchair hockey. And then we're going to do another update for Superbikes. Since it is like selling better than the rest of my games combined. Basically. <laughs> Which is pretty crazy. Speaking of crazy. If you're enjoying this video. If you're enjoying this series. Do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. All right, so we're going to continue development. 70 to 90 is a pretty good looking estimate, though, considering it's my first RTS, right? We will definitely take that. <laughs> um, so let's do a demo and a pre release for the press. And here, so let's see how let's do another update for Superbikes. Although, is the Adventure Engine up to date? Trend is going to change in four weeks. Venture Engine is most definitely not up to date. It is tech level two still. So let's get that bumped up. And maybe we'll do an adventure game and, tr and hope it does actually become the trend. <laughs> Just cross our fingers and, and hope. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I did not win best graphics. Best soundtrack developer of the year. Game of the year. That is good because that adds a lot to their IP value, right? Which is very important. Not my best graphics, though. Ooh, oh, 
big big things just big things happening right here internet ready online multiplayer big research gonna be coming through all right so let's just polish that all right oh it's freaking off with the, the quality thing um all right so gameplay feature no console feature yes internet ready So as soon as that's done, we will start a new console. Um, ooh, it's the holiday season right now. Week one. So we will see a spike in sales here. Ooh, so I should probably get this out, right? This is the holiday season. Yeah, 70 to 90 is fine. For, for, this is probably going to be upper 80s, which is good considering it's my very first uh, RTS game, right? At least I hope it's good. Hope it's upper 80s. Yep, 88%. Last I checked, 88% was pretty good. All right, so game report there. And we're looking at an adventure game. When's the last time I made an adventure game? Do I have any kind of valuable IP in adventure? Oh, we got Quest of the Rims. But, like, do I really want to keep hitting um uh, like there's a point of no of like diminishing returns i feel for this ip maybe i don't know can is ip fatigue a thing oh wait we want it to be adventure slash role playing not role playing slash adventure right so so, so technically quest of the rims Quest of the Rims 1 was an adventure. Quest of the Rims 2 was an RPG slash adventure. Quest of the Rims 3 is going to be an adventure slash RPG. All three of those are technically different. And that's okay. So we're going to go size A because generally speaking, not as many features apply to adventure games. We're going to go multi-platform. Mega Deck, Chairbox Pro, and... Super Nintendo, yeah. We're getting good with the primitive pseudo 3D graphics. All right, so... Yeah, these look pretty good. I feel for an adventure slash RPG. Maybe something like that. I think it'd be all right. Maybe. Like that? We'll try we'll try that. I feel like that'll be fine. All right. Ooh, 34 or 30. Never mind. Oh, because it's an RPG. Right. If it was just adventure, not as many of those would apply. But because it's adventure slash RPG, they do apply. So we gotta make this double A, which is fine. Well, I should probably use one of these licenses that I have. Keep buying these licenses and I use them once and I forget about them. Um, Lord of the Universe. Sure. Lord of the Universe. Let's go. Where are you at? Right there. We do not want to use the name, but we will use the IP. We will take advantage of the IP. Graphics team, do your thing. Sound team, you guessed it. Do your thing. Um, training. What do we got? Oh, we got some graphics people maxed out here. Oh, wow. We got four of them maxed out with 87 close. Yes, yeah, so we're going to put all of them in there. Our graphics team just got a lot more talented because we're going to take out the five lowest to train. And hardware, okay, move you up. So we're going to move several people into hardware very soon. Very, very soon. Um, any other maxed programmers? Oh, we got some maxed game testers, multiple maxed game testers. Two, three couple more close. Take my three lowest. There we go. We're slowly getting maxed out, our people. Uh, put you in here for now. All right, and take you. 
and put you in training instead. All right, so what do we want to do here? Day one patch, probably, for Lord of the Rims? No, let's do a Superbikes patch first. Let's keep that going strong. Yeah, I think that's smart. Um, do a TB spot for Quest of the Rims 3. Actually, usually you can add features on the fly, but I don't know if Internet Ready be the same. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Although, actually, I want this done ASAP. So, full research team. Let's go. Let's get this done. Okay, game report is done. Yeah, I mean, 33 sound points. That's whatever, right? If you're going to get negative events, you want it early in the life cycle. Basically, the plus or minus to these scores, it's a percentage of what the current score is, basically. So, if you're going to get negative you want it early if you're going to get positive you want it late essentially so that works for me <laughs> all right how's lord of the rims conquest like ooh, these my consoles are popping this holiday season which is what we expected rubik's eight is still selling 140,000 a week lord of the rims conquest that's that's pretty solid like i said it's my first rts it's not a great game it is a valuable ip but i do worry that i'm running that ip into the ground um, do either of my consoles need any marketing? Not really, but whatever. Let's let's keep that fresh. All right. That is done. Cancel task. And I want to make sure... Wait, how many hardware people? I got nine hardware people, so I'm going to want a bigger hardware room. Could put it here. That would be bigger, right? If I use up all this space... Where's the console development? God, I was just totally blanking on it there. How many desks is that? Oh, did not, no, do not want to sell my cleaning robot. 25 desks, so it's not many more, but it is more. And move all you folks out of training. 25 or 25, so I guess it kind of, kind of works out. All right, new handheld. Um, so is it, uh, is it going to default to the best thing automatically? Probably. All right, so what did we go with? I already forget what my console's called. Chair Mini Vision. So let's go with this Lucera Pocket this time. That is not the right button. There we go, Lucera Pocket. Predecessor model will be the Mini Vision um, case. Let's go with red. Oh, yeah, I like that. Let's include Superbikes 8 since it's such a popular game. Console can be connected to the internet. Backwards compatibility. Yes, sir. Although, I mean, the Chair Box Pro is the same, <laughs> same tech level. Yeah, it lets me include it. I, I might as well include it. Right? Turn on everything that applies here. Yeah, this is the big one. Console can be connected to the internet. This is why we waited. Right? This is why I waited. Customer support queue is going down as, as was hoped. And gameplay feature, online multiplayer. We can't use online multiplayer unless it's an online capable console right which you know my new console will be but my current console is not let's destroy this room might as well expand the research room right i see no reason why not although it does mean a lot of time they're just gonna be sitting there but that's okay so let's get a couple more researchers when there is research that, that we need we can get it done quick. So we'll go efficient for them because they can go on break whenever they don't have anything to do, right? So efficient, I feel, works better for them. Um, did I do? Yeah, I was going to say, I did an FPS engine, right? And I did. 
let's see what the trend is before we really do anything here. So let's just blast through this commission work really quickly. And there is our next researcher. Like I couldn't, I could not add online multiplayer to this. I can try. I shouldn't be able to. Let's see if it lets me. No, because one of the platforms is not internet capable, right? Which would be the Lucera Box Pro. So the whole, yeah. So anyway, the whole reason why I waited to make the Tech Level Three handheld is for internet capability. Although it was kind of cool because it let um, it let my console climb up to be third place all time, which is pretty sweet, right? I'm happy with my console performance, but I think this next one, this one right here, right here, blue chair pocket. Oh yeah, which I need to hype. I forgot about that. Got to hype that. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be really good. It's gonna sell a lot. All right, so let's stop looking for researchers, and let's hype this console a little bit. Let's get started anyway. All right, so let's get the 15 really, really quickly, and then let's hit the wrong button and then hit the right button and then get to 25 and to 40. All right. We got some research to do. Adjustable HUD. Let's do that first. We can probably add adjustable HUD to this. And let's do at least one TV spot for the Lucera Pocket. And once that's done, we'll see how everything else is going. Eventually, we're going to do another one, obviously. All right, so now that we know adventure is a trend, which is great because we're making an adventure game. What else is popular, though? Oh, we should probably definitely do a first-person shooter next. Probably definitely, yep. Um, and simulation. So let's make sure the simulation engine is up to date. This Bow Hunter um, 6 or whatever the newest one was did recently come off the market, so it would be a good time. And it is not up to date. It is... Two things at a date. Um, we'll switch this to Lucera Pocket, actually. I kind of wish I would have put this game for the Lucera Pocket. Oh, well, next game will be for the Lucera Pocket. For sure. Um, let's throw another update at Lord of the Rings Conquest. Probably do another update for Superbikes 8 as well, since it's on pace to be the best-selling game of all time. I mean, it's already in the top 10. It's been out for 14 weeks. It's already in the top 10, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, no, I think it's it's already outsold every other Superbikes game. Not sure why this one's selling so good. I'll take it. Um, it does have a license. It did win Game of the Year or one of the awards. Both of those things do help. It is the holiday season, so it's got a lot of things working for it right now. Uh, let's do this engine feature. Let's add this gameplay feature, adjustable HUD. And that is going to do it for this episode, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Consider supporting me on Patreon. I couldn't do this without my patrons. Shout out to them. Links in the description down below to that. Also, a link to my Discord. Most importantly, though, folks, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.